and welcome to the final video in our series. We started when Elul began and we had this goal of as clergy traveling with all of you through High Holidays. But after Shemini Atzeret and Simchat Torah, which are this Friday through Sunday, the High Holidays are officially over. I know it's kind of hard to imagine that we often think of High Holidays as just being Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, but technically Sukkot actually is thrown in there. So technically we are still in High Holidays right now. Wild to think about, right? We've been celebrating Sukkot all week. And now on Friday night, as Shabbat begins, so does the holiday of Shmini Atzeret. Now in Israel, it's already kind of the end of Sukkot. It's the last day. But what exactly is Shmini Atzeret? Now Shmini means eighth. It comes from Shmona, which is eighth. So eighth. And it seems like that would mean it's the eighth day of Sukkot. But that's kind of a misleading name. Because <laughs> uh, Sukkot's only seven days. Shmini Atzeret is kind of a standalone holiday. And what we do on it is... To be honest, not super fleshed out. There are a lot of different observances of the holiday, and it really kind of depends on where you are, both like physically, geographically, and kind of the movement and observances that you follow. So there are some really cool old things that we do on Shemini Atzeret. Um, but outside of Israel, it it's even more confusing because we kind of just like to skip over Shemini Atzeret and go directly to Simchat Torah because we have, you know, double holidays outside of Israel, so we have Simchat Torah appended on there. We've kind of like divided Shemini. It's, it's weird. It's complicated. Uh, and everyone loves Simchat Torah because we kind of just like to skip to it. And uh, it's a modern holiday, sort of, you know, in a Jewish way of speaking. Like, the oldest you could really peg Simchat Torah is about earliest, is about a thousand years ago. And that I know that doesn't seem very modern, but remember as Jews, we celebrate holidays and have observances that go back thousands of years. So a holiday that has observances recorded maybe 500 to a thousand years ago, not really that old. <laughs> but still, the point is we love Simchat Torah. We love Simchat Torah. We celebrate the finishing the reading of the entire Torah. You know, we've been reading the Torah all year, a little bit every week. And on Simchat Torah, we celebrate that we are finished with the reading of it. And it's literally, this is how I describe it to people who have never really been to a Simchat Torah celebration at a shul. It's a crazy dance party at the shul with Torahs. You know, and if you've been, you've seen it. It's, it's folks of all ages, from littlest kids with little Torahs to big kids with bigger Torahs with adults with very big Torahs. And everyone is dancing with the Torah, literally dancing, doing rings around the synagogue dancing with the Torah and excited and there's usually eating and drinking and celebrating and it's just it's so much fun it's this huge celebration and I feel like it is so Jewish <laughs> that we are throwing ourselves a party because we finished reading a book like if there, I can't think of anything more Jewish than that but if you think about it it's kind of amazing you know we read the same book every year Every year we're reading the same book. So it's not a surprise the things that happen in the Torah. You know, like we know Adam and Eve are going to eat that apple. You know, you know that Abraham is going to almost sacrifice his child, but not quite. We know there's going to be hundreds of years of slavery. There's going to be 10 plagues. There's going to be 40 years in the desert. There's going to be give us water, Moses. Oh, give us bread. Oh, give us meat. There will be peoplehood. There will be nationhood. And when the Israelites finally entered the land we close the book and we flip back to the beginning we scroll back to the beginning and then we start reading it again and I just think that that is wild why do we do that now I mean everybody has their own idea as to why we do that I'm sure you have your own ideas and feel free to you know put those in our our Facebook comment thought areas for me I think that we don't read the Torah because of all the plot twists, you know. There aren't plot twists, you know, after you've read it through a few times. Um, we don't read it because it's going to change. It's not the reason we read it every year. I think that we read it every year because we change, you know. We are not the same people we were a year ago. And we have new lessons that we need to be able to glean from it and new figures that we're going to identify with and there will be new qualities of old figures that will speak to us now in a whole new way because we are not the same people that we were last year when we read it. The Torah doesn't change. We change. And so we read it every year. 
We have lots of great opportunities to interact at this end of Sukkot, the Shemini Atzeret Simchat Torah time. The beginning of Shabbat and the beginning of Shemini Atzeret are the same this year, so that is always really fun. Uh, Friday night Shabbat renewal is at 6 p.m. and our member-led Shabbat is at 6.30 p.m. Uh, on Saturday morning, we have our member-led Shabbat service that includes Yisker. Uh, that uh, service begins at 9 a.m., and if Yisker is something you're interested in, then that is a service that you're going to want to tune into. We also have the Fleischmann B'nai Mitzvah, Mazal Tov to the Fleischmanns. That will be at 9.30 in the morning. Saturday night begins the holiday of Simchat Torah. We have Mincha Mariv starting at 6.30 p.m. And if you have pre-registered, because that is a requirement, there will be a Simchat Torah tailgate at 7.30 p.m. You know, usually for Simchat Torah, it is a crazy dance party at Shul, and we have multiple services, and everyone's taking the Torahs around, and there's dancing, and there's little kids, and everyone's running around, and the very not COVID um, safe practices so we can't have the kind of Simchat Torah that we usually have at Shul but we do have a super fun I'm very excited for this a Simchat Torah tailgates for those who have pre-registered so if you have questions about that definitely call the office during the day and it's going to be a lot of fun there will be hakafot with Torahs you know there will be golf carts there will be candy and there will be drinks and snacks and so much fun and some creative little touches too so it should be a really really good fun outdoors social distance Simchat Torah celebration I'm very excited can you tell uh, and then on Sunday morning Simchat Torah services at 9 30 in the morning I want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom and Hag Sameach